aren't men. We've spent thousands of years in our quest for more time, searching for the Philosopher's Stone and dreaming of immortality. And yet, biologically, culturally, and even psychologically, we are prepared for death. But do we have to take it as inevitable? Are all animals, including us, programmed to die? Because if that's so, it means that all our cravings, all our yearnings for magic potions and fountain of use, they're all doomed to failure. But there might just be a glimmer of hope, because scientists are beginning to discover something that might finally offer a very real prospect of unlimited time. Right from the start, the creation of a new life is amazing. Our cells divide and grow into a body that will mature and develop and ultimately reproduce. It's clear that we are programmed to live. But we are now discovering that we might not be programmed to die. Paul Nurse is a Nobel Prize winning biologist who has spent a career studying the deepest mechanisms of life. Every living organism has a certain lifespan. I mean, whether it's two years for a mouse or longer um, for other mammals. So it seems as if there is a, a, a program which um, specifies how long we're going to live. That, that's what most people used to think. But that view has recently been turned on its head. Paul Nurse works on yeast, a tiny microorganism. It's just a single cell, but it has a remarkable property. Yeast cells are immortal. They keep going. They'll keep growing and dividing um, for as long as they have something to feed on. Big deal, you might say. A colony of yeast cells lives forever? So what? But in 1985, Paul Nurse had a startling idea. Perhaps the same mechanism could exist in humans. Going from yeast to humans is a huge leap. We last shared a common ancestor um, 1,500 million years ago. So this is a gigantic leap in evolutionary time. His team transplanted human genes into a damaged yeast cell. And incredibly, the yeast cells could use the human genes to carry on living indefinitely. In one experiment, we'd shown yeasts and humans work the same way. 1.5 billion years of evolution and they still work the same way. So that now begins to look as if uh, the program isn't quite so inevitable. It turns out that a program for death just isn't there. The only plan in our genes is for life. What's just as remarkable is that the same is true for aging. There are genes that build us to maturity, but no genes that directly age us. There's no clock that charts our decline. But you know, in reality, I know that every part of me is getting older, my hair, my skin, my muscles, every part of me is aging. But why? I mean, what's the problem? It's this that holds the key to extending our lifetime. Because if aging isn't programmed in, perhaps it could be reversed 
or even avoid it altogether. All we need is to understand exactly why we age. You know, my hair used to be black. I have tiny cells that manufacture the black pigment. But as the years went by, these cells simply stopped making it. So my hair turned white. Over time, the collagen framework that supports my skin begins to deform. As the cells beneath it start making the wrong proteins. So my skin collapses into wrinkles. What's happening is that my cells are accumulating damage, which stops them from working properly. And it's happening right through my body. We do have extraordinary repair mechanisms. But over time, there's simply too much cellular damage to be repaired. Take our bones. The interior honeycomb that gives them strength suffers wear and tear. In our youth, this gets repaired. But as we get older, the repair mechanism is overwhelmed and our bones become thin and brittle. It turns out that we are aging just because our cells are too damaged to work properly. It's not programmed in, it just happens. Aging is not even directly related to how old we are. If that was so, we would all age at exactly the same rate. So at this clinic, they're going to run some tests to see how time-worn my body is. They're going to calculate my biological age. Are you sure you're in sample? Okay. Mm -hmm. Just lift it there. Today you're going to have your biological age system assessment and that means that we will be checking your true age. Now your true age is actually your body's age. Here at HB Health we do a biological age testing called inner age that will comprise your urine sample, mm -hmm. um, some physical testing and some blood testing. Uh -huh. Okay. So I'm a guinea pig in other words, yes. right? <laughs> okay. Gee, you know, I kind of wonder what age I'll turn out to be. I think I'll pretty much at the age where I really am. I'm 58. I'll find out my biological age when the results come through. Mm -hmm. You work out, don't you? This is it, the moment of truth. This is when I get to find out how old I am on the inside. Here we have the different parts of the body and the biological age listed. Wow. My actual age is 58, and they think I'm 50, which is good, which is great. But what is really strange is that they think different parts of my body have wildly different ages. In terms of hand grip, in terms of strength, well, it says here, very embarrassingly enough, 